What time is it? It's story time. What time is it? It's story time. Relax a bit and ease your mind. With books in hand, we'll take a flight and dive into a world so bright. Gather around, it's story time. Stories await. You will find, turn the pages, and let's begin. Ventures calling, so let's jump in. And remember, if you haven't already done so, hit that like and subscribe button for more stories. Today, we're going to read Ollie, the Acorn, and the Mighty Idea by Andrew Hackett and illustrated by Kaz Witness. Ollie Alexander Kanderstein longs to be a tree, strong, tall, and too mighty to be picked on by the bully next door. But Ollie is not a tree, not even a sapling. In fact, compared to Everett Lucas Montgomery, Ollie looks like nothing more than a twig, and he feels just as small. Too heavy for little twig, Everett barks. Ollie wilts. Aw, twig can't reach. Everett needles. Ollie withers. When Everett takes his plant, Ollie wants to snatch it right back, but thinks, I couldn't, I shouldn't. So he doesn't. Legs shaking, Ollie slinks to Everett's yard to ask for his plant back, but stops and stares when he sees Everett's garden. What are you looking at? You're not supposed to be here. Leave, Everett snaps. Ollie flees and hides behind a mighty oak. If only I were stronger and taller. Then an idea strikes him. What if I could become a tree? I couldn't. I shouldn't. But he does. Gulp. Ollie waits. He wonders. He rumbles. Burp. Hmm. Something's missing. Ollie has an acorn, but the seed needs soil. Ollie sneaks to his greenhouse, seed tumbling inside his tummy. I couldn't. I shouldn't. But he does. Ollie digs in. Munch, munch, munch. Ollie waits. He wonders. He rumbles. Burp. Hmm. Something's missing. He has an acorn and the seed has soil. But the seed needs... Water. With his belly full of dirt, Ollie shuffles toward the house. I couldn't. I shouldn't. But he does. Lips around the nozzle, Ollie lets it rip. Glug, glug, glug. Ollie waits. He wonders. He rumbles. Burp. Hmm. Something's still missing. He has an acorn, and the seed has soil and water. But the seed needs... Sun. Swishing and sloshing, Ollie slips over to the trampoline. Ollie jumps higher and higher and higher. I couldn't, boing. I shouldn't, boing. But he does, boing. Mouth open wide, Ollie soars and chomp. Bites a chunk off the sun. Ollie doesn't have to wait. He rumbles. His feet root and his trunk sprouts. His arms branch and his locks leaf. Ollie is a mighty oak and he is ready to do mighty things. He hefts the once heavy pots with ease. He stretches his limbs to the clouds. Now to stand up to Everett. Ollie launches a volley of acorns forcing Everett from his hiding spot. With a twist of his trunk, a sway of his branches, Ollie roars, leave! But Everett stands firm. You're not scary, bark breath. You're full of termites. You're big, but you're still just a twig to me. 
Ollie stares hard at Everett, his branches quivering with anger. He couldn't. He shouldn't. But he does. Ollie lashes out his leaves, tosses Everett sky high, and gulp, swallows him whole. Ollie has proven he is mighty. So why does he feel smaller than a seedling? Wilting and withering and wrong. Maybe it's the seed, or the soil, or the gallons he's guzzled. Maybe it's swallowing the sun. But Ollie's stomach is in knots, knowing he ate Everett, knowing he was mean. Maybe he doesn't need to be a treat to be mighty. I could. I should. So he does. Burp! You! You ate me! stammers Everett. I'm sorry, Ollie says. I just wanted you to stop bullying me. I couldn't take it anymore. I guess I have been pretty rotten to you. I just feel like a weed compared to you and your green thumb, Everett admits. You were jealous of me? Ollie looks from his garden to Everett to the acorn. I have an idea, Ollie begins, but we'll have to work together. Everett smiles nervously. As long as you don't eat me again. Ollie and Everett grew that day. They aren't any stronger or taller, but now they both know they can do mighty things. Too heavy, Ollie blooms. Can't reach, Ollie blossoms. Leaf. The end. <laughs>